Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to the channel. So, Minecraft has two major platforms. We have the Java Edition, and we have the Bedrock Edition. Believe it or not, both of these have major differences between each other. One of those differences on the Java Edition, anyway, you can easily go back between updates. So, for example, if I was curious to see what the first ever edition of Minecraft looked like on Java, I could simply do that. There would be no nether, pretty much no nothing. But still, I have the option to do it on Java. Whereas Bedrock, if you're in Bedrock right now, you'll be stuck on the 1.16.201 update. Again, you may want to go back updates to check out what it was like before. However, the reason I'd want to go back updates is simply for speedrunning. Now, in the recent updates of the Bedrock Edition, they have added some things, aka the Piglin Brute, and also they have nerfed Piglin Trades, which means you have a 50% less chance of getting Ender Pearls, and when you do get Ender Pearls, you get 50% less Ender Pearls. Before, you used to get 4 to 6, now you only get 2 to 4. Now you can see how this could massively impact your speedrun time. Also, my friend El Triago is a Minecraft speedrunner. He does all kinds of categories of Minecraft speedrun, including the glitched speedrun, okay? So, if you follow my channel, you will know that recently, Bedrock are doing a really good job of patching glitches. Like, there are no decent duplication glitches. Now, with this method of going back updates, you can actually use the old duplication glitches. El Triago actually did this method and managed to get a world record. Again, I want to say a huge shout out to El Triago for uh, showing me this method. Let's jump straight on into the video. All right, so here I am on the just the, the home page. Before I quit and show you exactly what we need to do, I'm on the 1.16.201 update, okay? That's the version I am on. So before I show you the method, I just want to say this could get incredibly glitchy for you. However, it does work. Uh, I tried it and tested this morning. I had a little bit of an issue re-uploading my original Minecraft, but I just restarted my PC and then um, I was able to do it. Although, like I said, it got a little bit glitchy. It couldn't, uh, like, for whatever reason, I couldn't, um, I couldn't reinstall what Minecraft, but um, eventually it just let me do it. So, like I said, it's pretty good to be fair. Okay, so the first step that you're going to want to do is download the link in the description. As soon as you've done that, you will have a folder that looks a little bit like this. What you're going to need to do after this is simply extract all. Once you've extracted all, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. You will have a Minecraft launcher folder. We can then open this little thing here called the Minecraft launcher. Ignore all this. You won't have this at the moment. You will just have the Minecraft launcher. So what we're going to do is hit the Minecraft launcher. And of course, it will want to make uh, changes to uh, the desktop. So that's exactly what I'm going to allow it to do. And then once we've done that, we're just going to close that. And as you can see, we've got all of these. We've got the betas. We've got literally if we go all the way down as well. You can see we've got really far back updates and all we have to do is hit download and do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to an update before the nether update uh to actually show you uh this working so if we for example go on this update just here i mean i have no idea if this is the the greatest one to go on or this one we'll just go on this one is that the right one yeah we'll do that we'll download it and we're going to wait for it to download of course this could take um, a reasonably long time depending on how fast your internet is once it's downloaded, you'll get this extracting bar, and then it will uh, installed. So all we got to do, um, if you go to click here, launch, it won't launch. You'll get this screen. I mean, it might for you, but it doesn't for me. So what we got to do is go off this right about now, and we're going to go into Minecraft Launcher again. And you can see we've got these two, right? So this is one before they added Piglin Brutes. And this one here should be before they added the nether update. So if we go ahead and click that, we're going to go ahead and click reinstall like so. And of course, we're going to have to wait for this once again. But of course, once it has loaded, I mean, we're very, very close. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. Uh, and yeah, we've clicked reinstall. We're going to go launch. Now, as soon as we've hit launch, again, it might not launch for you. So what you might want to do is, you know, just close these down. And then simply open Minecraft, okay? As soon as you've opened Minecraft, you should actually get the older update. As you can see, I mean, this is kind of glitchy, as you can see. I did say it was going to be a little bit glitchy. But um, for the most part, this is the older update. As you can see, we've got the aquatic background. I'm going to go ahead and create a new world. Now, another thing I should have said. I really should have said this at the beginning. I'm going to say it right now. Make sure you've got these backed up. You want to make sure you've got copies of your world. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just do this right about now. I'm going to export this world um, just because I don't want to lose it, right? 
uh, make sure you do that because, of course, when you uh, reinstall the new version, you're going to lose all your worlds. Realms are going to be okay you, when you update. Again, it'll be on the latest update. Your worlds will completely be gone. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you get yourself a little backup. Now, what I am going to do is create a new world. And, of course, um, we don't... Oh, God, no. My skin. Damn it. Um, we, we'll just have to... <laughs> I can't believe it. My skin. We would go into one that uh, can't use my skin. So we're just going to go on easy. We're just going to go on a random seed. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, or, uh, apparently, I can't join friends. But it doesn't matter. We're going to jump on. I'm going to very quickly build myself a obsidian portal. Wow. Looks a little bit weird as well. Wow. Some of these. Was that how it looked back in the day? I don't know if I believe this. Damn, it's changed so much. No, surely not. That was not how it looked. I don't know. I, I, I can't remember that far back. I mean, so much has gone on. That was not how it looked. I don't know. Either way, let's make a nether portal because, uh, yeah, you know what happens when you make a nether portal. You go into the nether. And, of course, now we should no longer have the... Um, do I have a texture pack on? Like, I don't know. I'm very convinced I could have a texture pack on right now. No, I, I think we're okay. Wow. See what I mean? It's changed a little bit. Maybe it's a little bit glitchy. But yeah, we're going to go through to the nether. Wow. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, I don't even remember the nether looking this bad. I think for whatever reason, it's... Like, some of the textures have changed a little bit. But you can see, we're in a, a, a really far back version. And the nether looks awful. No more nether update. So, yeah, that does mean in older updates, we can actually do the older duplication glitches. Remember this one? This one was so OP. Boom. Uh, hopefully, we can do this very soon. Boom. We got two of them. And all we had to do was simply move inventory slot. And if we go over here, we're going to make a red shocker box right about now. We're going to go onto that one and place it down. Boom. We got ourselves a duplicated box. I mean, we can totally use that one as well. I miss that so much. <laughs> and then what I would do uh, to get the normal update back is just uninstall and then reinstall again. Again, it may go a little bit glitchy for you. But for the most part, I mean, it took me about five or ten minutes to do it. But yeah, it worked after I had to restart my PC as well. Like I said, it does get a little bit glitchy, but it's all right for the most part. Another good idea, what I'd probably do, uh, which I'm going to do, is I'm going to delete these two. Purely for the fact I'm not using them, and I'm just going to, like, upload them and get them if and when I need them. So right now, I'm just going to delete those. Because like I said, I just don't need them, and I'll use them if and when. Okay, so this time, it worked straight away, perfectly fine. I clicked it, and it worked. Although this thing here... Um, came up, uh, this is a complete lie. Why are you lying to me, Microsoft? Just, just, I, I, yeah, I have no idea. I've never had that before. Maybe that's something to do with this process. I'm not quite sure. Once you've re-downloaded it, of course, all your, like, settings, your button layout and stuff, you'll have to redo that again. But for the most part, you should be on the latest update again. Uh, of course, if you, uh, do what I did again, I've got this. Device outdated. A little bit glitchy, because I know that's a complete lie. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just go like this. And you can see we're on the latest update. Again, you can see my settings are completely changed again. Going to have to go uh, through there. Throw full screen on. And also, let's go and turn that music right off. Um, also, my skin. You'll have to upload your skins and emotes again. But that is exactly how you go back updates in the Bedrock Edition. Again, I do hope that this video has helped you out. I will catch you on the next one.